Welcome to another video in the vSite Plus Portal Help series. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the functionality with the Notice Manager. The Notice Manager is a tool that, that you can use to generate and print collection letters or letters to send out to people who haven't paid their citations yet. Um, we're going to be using Springfield, Massachusetts as our example here because we've just built them some new functionality and um, this video is kind of designed around that. So um, we're going to go into the Notice Manager from the home screen here by clicking, going to the Settlement tab and clicking on the Notice Manager. From here you essentially have two options. You can either find an old batch that you've already run if you need to take a look at it or, or reprint some letters, or you can go over and create a new batch, which is what we're going to do now. So you click there and the first thing you're asked for is a batch ID. This batch ID needs to be a unique it needs to be unique for each batch um, but it can be anything you want. A lot of our customers put the date here which is which is a good way to go back and look at things um, but it turns out the date is is already added just by the fact that um, the timestamp of when you do it. So we're just gonna put in here video test and that's going to be the name of this batch and if you have more than one type of letter you can select it here in this drop down but we only have one here so we're going to click create now from here we are going to add the citations that we want to send letters on so we go here to the add notices and that's going to bring up our our filters here this is where we choose the the citations that we want um, the main way you're going to do this is by clicking here on issued and clicking a date range. Notice we have a lot of different ways to break down that date range, but I'm just going to go anything that was on or before. And I'm going to actually walk back here to 2011, back to November, and we're going to click on November 1st. And we want we don't want anything that's been paid before, so we're going to click on the balance, and we're going to say anything greater than zero. Again, there are a lot of choices we have in there, and uh, you know you feel free to play around with these because once you've once you've picked them, you'll see we get a uh, preview of our data before we have to do anything with it. Um, since we're sending out letters, we also want to make sure that they have a valid address. This is, this is important because otherwise you're going to be trying to send letters and they're not going to be going anywhere and you're going to be paying a lot on postage, which we don't want to do. So to have a valid address, it just needs to have a street, a city, a state, and a zip code. It doesn't matter if there's actually a building there. We don't, we don't go that far into checking the addresses, but if it has those four pieces, it's considered valid. Last thing we want is we want to click on everything that has not been printed. So we're going to click on printed equals false. Means that these have not already had letters generated on them. You can always generate a second batch of letters on things that have already been printed. Um, you just click this to true. So we're going to leave that at false. And we'll go ahead and click on search. Now this may take a few minutes. Um, to run. This is collecting a lot of data on these tickets and it's and it's and it, it can be um, a slow process. If you've clicked a, a range that has too many tickets in it, you may get an error back saying that it's timed out. If that's the case, it's always good to go back and narrow your selection. Usually by creating a smaller date range works pretty well. But as you can see we've we've come up with our selection here and we've got our resulting data. Now, I'm not going to go too far into this, but once you've gotten your data, you can look through it and scroll down and see if it all looks good and it looks like what you were trying to get. And then if it is, if you want to click, click, you can select them one at a time if you're, if you're just clicking on some of them. Or if you want to click all of them, you just click that top box right there and it gives you everything. Now again, you can play around with this. If this wasn't what you were looking for, you can um, go back up here into the search parameters and change things. And uh, actually, that's what we're going to do now because I don't want to all these notices. I'm just going to go back up here and find one ticket, a test ticket that I have in here that we're going to create the letter on. So we're going to come back in here, click these ones back to any. 
and we're going to go in here to citation. A good way to get just an individual citation is by going to the citation number, or if you want to send to a whole account, you can also go there. But we're going to go to citation number equals, and my test citation is this one here. So we'll bring that one up. Now, one last thing on this filter. Um, it's, this is configurable by customer, but for Springfield in particular, we have a fail-safe on the back end when it processes this that says that you can't generate a letter on anything that is less than 31 days old. So if a citation is less than 31 days old, even if you click on... Um, you know, even if you don't have a date range clicked here, it won't it won't pick those up. So just be aware of that one little rule. So we've got our citation now. I'm going to click on everything and grab it, and I'm going to click on submit selection. Now this is my test ticket in here, and it's it's got all the data that we you know desire to see here. And if we want to change anything, or if we need to change anything, we can go over here and edit this citation. So if we find out that that we need to maybe add a um, apartment number on here, we can go in and do that. Click on Save, and it's going to update my address here. And I may need to actually refresh my page here if I wanted it to update in this window but you can see it did make the change over here now when I want to generate my notices I can I can select which ones I want to by clicking the uh, checkbox here if I want to grab everything in this case of course I only have one but I can grab everything with that top box and click generate notices this so brings up a pop-up window. Make sure that you have pop-ups enabled for this website, that they're added to your trusted sources for your browser. And that's going to open up a PDF of our citation here. Notice we have in here the, the new address with my update in there. We have the ticket number that was written on, the vehicle license. We have the vehicle make, color, and the issue date and time. We have, of course, the violation here, and the location of the violation. And we also have a nice little note to the violator of must be paid by, and we've, we've defined this with the customer. Um, it's a configurable piece as you create this, these reports. And these, this page here is designed to be folded up, put into an envelope with the little window that shows the violator's address and is easy to send out. Once you've created these notices, you have your choice to print them by clicking on the print button up here. Or if you want to print, save and print them later, you can click on the save button and save them. Once you have printed them out, it's a good idea to click on mark as printed and then you can click on close. And what that does is it puts a little check mark in this printed box so that you don't accidentally grab these same violations and print them again. Again, going back to our filters that we set up saying that uh, printed was false. And that's how you generate notices. Now, if you ever want to go into a, a batch that you've already created, we'll, we'll go ahead and show you that real quick. We go here to find batch and again we have some filtered parameters we can if we knew what uh, our batch ID was we could go down and say equals and just type in the specific batch we wanted same thing with batch key or, or batch date is a great way to find things if you um, you know if you know you just ran it last week or today or um, between a set of dates you can always go ahead and, and uh, search for them that way. Since we haven't really run anything here, we're just going to leave those all with any. Click on search. And that's going to bring up the, the batches that we've done here as, as we've tested this product. So you can see here's the video test. That's the one I did today. So if I want to bring it back up, I just click anywhere in this line. And you can see it lightly highlights it there. And I click on submit selection. And that brings my 
violations back up. Noticing now that as we've refreshed the page, it has my updated address in it. And that's how you go back and look at an old batch. Again, we could actually click on it again and say generate notices. And we could print this one again. Notice as it comes up here that the marked as printed is already grayed out. That's because it, it already has been printed, so we don't need to mark it as such again. And we could, we could print it or save it, and again, click close. Okay, that's, that's our notice manager. Again, very configurable, very easy to use, um, and a, a very nice way to help increase the collections on your unpaid tickets. If you have any questions, as always, speak to your account representative, and have a great day.